Hello everyone, this is Many Ninjas. Welcome to what will be the first, basically the official start to a series of small collection videos. Why a series, I say? When you have, uh, in this case I think the count was like 460 some games, kind of scattered all over the place in my office, which, just to give you an idea, it's kind of a mess at the moment. But, I have a ton of stuff all over the place and stuff I still need to really organize. And stuff in boxes. Yes, that is a wig on a Spider-Man head. But basically, when you have all this stuff all over the place, it makes it really hard to do kind of a standalone video where you're going item by item. So we're going to break it up into a few parts. For this first part, we're actually going to begin with stuff that is uh, closer to the newer generation of stuff. And in cases, would make easier to sort out. So basically, we'll do with the PS3 games, Xbox 360, and PS2. And a little bit of Wii U, which I'll break into just at the end. As they start off, I actually had the PS3 first, just to mention on that, I ended up picking up the 360 a little bit later down cheaper. So this is where the majority of the thing kind of really stuck out, and I worked my way out from there. First one, Anarchy Reigns. Uh, Ashura's Wrath, I actually rather enjoy this thing, although the whole nonsense about the setup for the endings being, or the main real ending being on DLC is a bit of nonsense. Still enjoyable though. Arkham City and Arkham Origins. Oddly enough, I don't have Arkham Asylum. I really should fix it, just find a loose copy somewhere. Although, mind you, I haven't had a chance to go through a lot of these games. I'll kind of elaborate that as I go along. Uh, Bioshock was actually one of the first titles I got on there. Blaze Blue Continuum Shift. I think I played that disc all of four times. Just stuff kept coming up. I never got the chance to play it. Castlevania Lords of Shadow 2. Interesting idea. I like what they did with uh, Gabriel, aka Sad Dracula, but god damn it, that game had some annoying sections. In a small little Dragon Ball block, we have Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2, uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai HD Collection, and Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, which I've done a few videos on for the channel. Dragon's Crown, otherwise known as uh, Dwarf Simulator. God damn, I like playing that game, but I really need to find more time to do so. It's kind of time intensive to really build up levels in there. I'm moving on to uh, Shelf Part 2. Duke Nukem Forever. I actually got this, I believe, as a Christmas gift, as a bit of a gag gift. Uh, once again, to Priscilla to see this, thank you very much. <laughs> Did give me a good chuckle. Uh, Injustice Gods Among Us, which, with the addition of the added characters, ended up coming more like Injustice Ninjas Among Us. Still a fun game though, nice precursor into MKX, which is out right now. King of Fighters 12 and 13, obviously 13 is the better of the title there, 12 was just for completion's sake. Last of Us, I started this game, I think I maybe got a quarter through it just before I, I can't say I lost interest, but just got distracted. Meg, the only reason I have Meg is because it came with the Bluetooth headset. I bought the Bluetooth headset and it was basically the Tossin game. Even at the point when I got this thing, the online was already dead. Marvel vs. Capcom 3, Fate of Two Worlds. This would be the uh, collector's edition. Special edition there. Honestly, I did get a lot of mileage out of the game. I did enjoy there. Uh, I wish I could say the same about uh, Mass Effect Trilogy, as you can probably guess here, or at least based on the reflection might help. This is actually still completely sealed in package. I've really been meaning to get to this series. Let's see if I can get back in the case or on the shelf properly. Uh, pardon the kind of shaky cam. It's hard to do this one-handed. These shelves are really tightened together. Uh, okay, Metal Gear Rising, Metal Gear Solid 4. Started a bit on Metal Gear Solid 4, haven't had the chance to fully go through it yet. And Rising, I, I put the DLC on my system and set everything up so I could, could play the game. And I haven't done so. That actually fits in a lot of things here, unfortunately. Just time constraints. I don't get a lot of modern gaming done. Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat Complete Edition. Basically, Complete Edition was picked up to future-proof things. It, eventually, there are some issues with uh, the downloaded content, which I did end up picking up for that package, the season pass. I have something that's a more complete thing right out of the box. All those fails if something does happen to my current system. Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe. Picked up cheap, basically. It was just there, so why not? This block was actually part of some more recent purchases. Ninja Gaiden uh, Sigma 1, 2, Ninja Gaiden 3, and uh, Ninja Gaiden Z Yaiba. This one my brother actually picked up for me. Uh, 
brand new for cheap out of a local EB Games, and the rest of them I just kind of picked up on my own there. Persona 4 Arena and Persona 4 Arena Ultimax. Not very good at those games, I'm going to be quite honest, but still very enjoyable. PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale. Uh, interesting take on a kind of a smash ripoff of sorts for the uh, PS3 here. I got some mileage of it, but it, it's honestly not a great game. Uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection. Surprisingly good. I would actually recommend that. It's one of the better compilation sets that are out there. Moving on to the... Uh, current fourth and final PS3 setup. We have Soul Calibur 4 and 5. Soul Calibur 5, admittedly a bit of a disappointment there. I actually got that as the collector's edition, which I don't have the box here just because it's kind of large and hard to shake, uh, hard to fit in the place. But all in all, uh, in between the two, I played more. I played more for. Uh, speaking of games, they're a bit of a disappointment. Uh, well, I did enjoy the game uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken Special Edition with the coin bank, which I have still yet to actually assemble by the way I think I might have mentioned in the previous video interesting game the DLC kind of a pain in the butt the game basically got killed off Street Fighter 4 Street, Super Street Fighter 4 basically the the original and the update edition I I have no idea why I have this and I actually have another version of Street Fighter 4 on the shelf here actually just down here over at Ultra I have these versions I don't play that much Street Fighter 4. I don't know why I did this to myself. Tekken Tag Tournament 2. This is a game I actually got quite a bit of mileage out of. Honestly enjoyable. I enjoy the Tekken series. I'm not that great with it, but I enjoy it. Ultra Street Fighter 4. The honest, I just like the inclusion of the Mad Gear characters and certain uh, Street Fighter 3 characters that were added out of this version. Basically the characters that appeared in Street Fighter Cross Tekken that did kind of carry over. I did enjoy their conclusion, had some fun playing them, but I still don't play the game a lot. The Uncharted series. Two of these games came with a controller as part of a collection set, and the third one came with the uh, PS3 when I picked up a PS3 for myself for my own personal usage in my office. Because there's technically one, another one that's in the house right now, but it's mostly used as a kind of a blu-ray player in the general in the living room rather than a standalone system all right moving on we're gonna go to the first of my 360 shells first off this is a, a loose copy of halo reach had no case or anything in case uh serge or david from uh behind my cell yours end up seeing this I, I completely glazed over it when i was originally testing the system i thought that was originally pre-installed as it turns out one of you guys accidentally left the disc in the system which I found out after the fact. Which, by the way, thank you very much. I might end up picking up a later copy of Halo Reach, which I think I saw one in the store, just to get a copy with the case there. But hey, uh, a freebie? Thank you kindly. All right, then. All right, setting off in the actual case there, you have Battle Fantasia and Bayonetta. The reason the 360 version instead of a PS3 version, like what I have a bunch of the collection up there, is because generally the P the uh, 360 version was a better thing probably the game was made for the 360 so the ps3 port is well known to be very abysmal a beautiful katamari uh, i originally liked the katamari damacy series that appeared on the ps2 so yeah i was going to get a copy of it here uh blaze blue continuum shift extend i've actually played this less than the one i have up there but at least the excuse is i got this much much sooner or more recently, I should say. Blue Dragon. I've heard good things about it being a generally nice RPG. Uh, one second, let me remind myself what this one is. It's one of the games I have hidden off. Uh, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. I think it was one of those just general loose games I was offered when I was picking up the 360 from Buy Mine Sell Yours at the time. Uh, I haven't really gotten to it. I know it's basically Call of Duty insert yearly installment here. Which, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just not an immediate thing that happened to get there. Which just, it was a toss-in title at the time, so I took it. Command & Conquer 3 Tiberium Wars. I actually thought about this after the fact when I mentioned it. And, uh, actually I have my brother's PC version upstairs, or up on a further shelf of there, so that's funny enough. Fallout 3, Platinum Hits version. The Gears of War games, basically one through three, and moving on down, Gears of War Judgment. 
just because it was there it was available. Most of these 360 games, I should mention, I actually got at the same time. Well, not at the same time, but at least at the same place. Uh, buy mine, sell yours. I'll probably leave a link since I know they have a Facebook page. So I'll leave that in part of the description here. Just because I do do a lot of business with them, if I do quite frank. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 4. Grand Theft Auto games are pretty great there. Kengo Legend of the Nine. Kind of picked it up on a lark. I don't know anything about it yet. Uh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, Forza 2 packing, or kind of a 2 pack. I don't know anything about Forza, but based on what I remember, Marvel Ultimate Alliance is actually really nice, so we'll go with that. MK Complete Edition for 360. Why not? Otomius, Medius, I don't know how to pronounce that. Otomius, excellent. Basically, a Gradius, Paradis style game. And I just picked it out of a dollar or something like that, believe it or not. Okay, next you got Pure. Heard good things about it. a nice kind of a racing style game. Raiden Fighter Aces and Raiden 4. Your basic shumps. Can't go wrong there. Red Dead Redemption. Game of the Year Edition, because it has the DLC. Saints Row, because it was cheap, kind of. Samurai Shodan Zen, because I'm a, probably a sucker for NK stuff. I'm not sure it was exactly a great game, but it was there and available. Alright, Sonic All-Stars Racing Transform, basically uh, an, a Mario Kart alternative. Actually quite nice from what I played of it. Sonic Generations. I don't know why I picked it up. Probably just for the classic sections. So Calibre 4 again. Once again, basically it was picked up cheap at the time, so why not? Super Street Fighter 4, because I didn't get enough game that I didn't play enough of on the PS3, so I got the PS or the 360 version, because I'm intelligent like that. Tekken Tag Tournament 2, once again, I repeat, very nice series, nice to play. Tina's Unit Ninja Turtles, Turok, uh, UFC 2009, and Velvet Assassin. Basically, I picked up those games all, most of these from the same place for relatively cheap, so uh, no argument there. All right, just for a brief thing, I actually picked up the Wii U uh, fairly recently. Uh, I'll go over this either in more in another video or with a video with Carlos in a later discussion, but basically the first game that has no case is Super Smash Brothers for Wii U, which I got with the system. Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. Bayonetta 2, which is probably one of the, that was probably my system seller right there, and a copy of Splatoon just for shits and giggles. Uh, we'll move over to the uh, PS2 section just after the cut. All right, we've now moved on to my uh, bookshelf, aka my sorting shelf for the most part. Generally, this is where I keep most of my stuff, and uh, basically a ton of game stuff kind of tossed in there on the various shelves. Alright, pardon the lightning there. Starting off with my PS2 collection, we're starting off with Capcom vs. SNK2. Honestly, still one of my favorite fighting games in general. But most, the version I played the most of would probably be the original Dreamcast release, when I still had a Dreamcast around. The controller, not so great though. Let me try to stabilize the camera a little more. Just pardon me as I adjust myself. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Infinite World, basically... Uh, Kind of a re-envisioned version of uh, Budokai 3 off the top of my head. Play bits and pieces of it, interesting enough, but I haven't gotten too much time in there. Dragon Quest 8, Journey of the Cursed King. I originally was playing that with my PS2, but the original disc version I had broke down basically part way. At some point I got stuck in there and I actually had to track down another copy, which uh, you stop me if you heard me say this before, I got it buy mine, sell yours. <laughs> with a bunch of other stuff here. I have uh, Grand Twister 3 A spec. For some reason, I have two copies on this shelf. I don't remember why. Grand Turismo 4. I think this is actually my brother's version, or my brother's copy. I think it just got left here. I didn't think he, wa think he wasn't interested in it. Grand Theft Auto 3, one of the original games I had for the PS2. Heroes of the Pacific. I don't know exactly where this game came from. I think it's just one of the random things my father handed me. Same could be said of I Ninja, uh, Le Mans 24 Hours, one of the original games I had with the system, a Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Originally played this game on the PS2 version here. I ended up getting the uh, 360 version, as I mentioned later, but I originally played this dumbed down port. Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Why a, why a physical copy, you might ask? And why not something like the Dreamcast one? Well, one, I don't have the Dreamcast anymore. And two, even though they did the, the uh, online version, 
At this point, because the license is lost, you can't download that version anymore on any of the uh, current consoles, so suddenly, tangible version is back again in interest. All right, Mega Man Anniversary Collection. Uh, I could say something about the current uh, upcoming project that is basically the Mega Man Legacy Collection, but that'll be saved for another time. Mega Man X7, honestly not a great game, but hey, I got it for a good price. Mega Man X Collection. It, this one's actually a sealed copy I picked up at a game swap not too long ago, it feels like. A Mega Man Command Mission, X Command Mission. Uh, odd little game in the series, but fun on RPG. Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, fun title overall. NASCAR 07, I don't know why I have this, I don't think it's my game. It might have been my brothers at some point. Nightshade and Shinobi, because I love my ninja games, you might have noticed this. Uh, Sonic Heroes, just for shits and giggles. Soul Calibur 2, I, I generally like the Soul Calibur series, You, as you probably noticed I have a few games from it elsewhere. Super Bust the Move 2, because I play much too much Bust the Move and I own too many games in the series and a Bobble Bobble stuff in general. As we started the video with the two plush Bob and Bob over there. Super Dragon Ball Z, kind of an odd little 3D fighting game, commands are unlike what you see in the later titles, or majority of them, where they're actually input commands, like more standard fighting games. I kind of like it, but it's a bit of a weird game. Tetris World. I recall not paying too much for that. I think I just randomly picked up an Lark. And Transformers. Haven't played too much of it, so I can't actually comment too much about that game just yet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll now wrap up this first video. As I mentioned before, in case you're wondering why I'm breaking the videos up there and just covered basically CD-based stuff, just to put things back in perspective again. That small shelf there, you probably noticed there's a... Let's see if I can get the zoom to work here. There we go, that's just a small stack of stuff I have yet to organize. But, of course, you have the various box games I have. These are just loose, or box Nintendo, Super Nintendo. I have another shelf that's full of just... Mega Drive and Genesis stuff, but basically anything you see in a shoe box, with only a little limited exception, are cart based stuff, or maybe one box which is like, actually no, two boxes at least that are just Saturn games, and cart based stuff. We'll cover the Saturn stuff in another video, but basically, in a nutshell, trying to record any collection stuff where I go over more than one system or something, other than the the CD based stuff for more modern stuff, which is basically in your CD or DVD Blu-ray cases that are easily stacked, is a bit of a logistical nightmare. So I actually need to spend some prep time in order to organize stuff so I can properly showcase it. Especially with the card stuff. That's kind of a, it's kind of a nonsense thing at this point. So uh, we're probably actually gonna start with the Nintendo systems and kind of work my way out from there. So that'll be part two of this series, which I'll hopefully be able to set up at some point during the weekend. If you have uh, any comments or anything like that, or any suggestions of maybe some good uh, 360 games, since that's one of my newer systems, or Wii games that I might want to look for, uh, please, seriously, uh, drop a line in the comments with your suggestions. I'd actually be interested in seeing them, especially with the 360 stuff, since, honestly, 360 collecting is a bit on the cheaper side right now, due to the fact that it's now past-gen, or older-gen. And uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you happen to like what you're seeing, I will be doing more collection stuff in the very near future, like I said, probably on the weekend. Uh, leave a comment, and uh, once again, thank you all. Take care, and catch you all later.